everything they said was impossible, he's done. What he predicted to me in Deer Lake, he has done absolutely unexpected. Here comes, here comes the replay, the scenes in the ring are incredible. Jim, you're with, here it is. The greatest fight of his life. Watch it now, watch it closely there. He'd been taking it easy and then suddenly the moment came. Suddenly the moment came. Watch it. And that was no phantom. That was no phantom punch. That was no phantom punch. And he's down and out. Uh, he's won the title back and obviously his nemesis, uh, Joe Frazier, uh, in Manila. They still think Joe Frazier can beat me. They don't want to see me and Ken Norton. They don't want to see me and George Foreman. They want to see me and Joe Frazier, although George Foreman annihilated Frazier. And George Foreman will beat Frazier every day in the week. George Foreman will be Ken Norton every day in the week. And I will be George Foreman every day in the week. Right. But the fools still think that that chump, Joe Frazier, can beat me. And I wrote a short poem. It says it will be a killer and a thriller and a killer when I get the gorilla in Manila. That's right. Tough, tough fight for both. Remarkable. Uh, if somebody had uh, not been there to realize it was indoors, it was the height, the heat, uh, tin roof. Uh, I don't know how they went the distance they went. They both should have fell down. My intention was to win whatever I could, but I didn't really believe it would end in the first round, but I did tag him in the first round. Now, this is sixth round action, and Joe started to come on stronger. Take over, Muhammad. Well, right now, I'm getting a little tired. Now, he just hit me with a left hook right there. Dazed me a little, so now I'm going into the uh, robo dope style, letting him throw his punches, covering up. Uh, as you see, we're both perspiring. Well, I imagine we lost four or five pounds apiece. It was hot. Here I'm hitting him with violent punches. He just cut me with another left hook. Joe's dangerous and close. He's got a hard left hook. He's not a man from, he don't fight from a range like I'm doing at this moment, but he gets in close and uses his short arms and his muscles, and he's, really, he's a perfect left hook. Well, Howard, I realize now the way the fight's been going, it could be even. Some probably might even make me ahead. Some might make him ahead. You never can tell. In just a couple of seconds, you'll begin to score with a succession of flurries, always to the head. Joe's head is the big target, isn't it? Yes, I know believe in throwing body punches. They are hitting me four, five yeah, left go. and right. Yeah, right. And uh, these are just evening the round up because he won the first half. And also, I'm burning energy. I'm still getting tired of them. I already am. I realize that the fight might go either way. So these last three rounds here, I'm looking for a knockout if I can really get it. Uh, on my toes, it's taking a lot of energy to do this. It's time to I'm doing it. And mentally words the man down and say, you mean after all of this, he's still dancing? Uh, this is just what you see me doing now. I'm just killing him, but I'm doing it. And uh, Frazier stand on me. He's looking to get a shot in close with that hard left hook if you keep watching him. And my main object is the time up in close. And I have to say, Joe Frazier, I want to say here on that, is the greatest fight I've ever fought. And with, he's not a scientific boxer, but he would have to go down in history is one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all times. They might not recognize him, but I'm saying it because I know I could have beaten all the heavyweights in the past, and I don't think none of them would have gave me no more trouble than Frazier. Right now, I'm feeling real good now. I know there's no doubt now I'm going to win it because of these clear shots. I really believe he's going to go, and this is uh, why I'm pressing him like I am. But uh, I'm just call a promoter, Donald King, and we're now working on some more fights, and it might be a fourth phase of fight, we never can tell. Another great trainer, um, Eddie Fudge. Oh, he, great, great guy. Great man. One of my best friends, really? by the way. Yes. Very interesting. Well, people don't realize that we have a lot of camaraderie and warmth in this profession. Eddie was my, one of my best friends. Okay. And uh, basically, that, that signaled the end of the, the, the series between Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali. Right. And just great fights, absolutely awesome fights. If you can pick an Ali fight, you actually, uh, how should I put it now, you put the most effort into and you felt you had to analyze which fight would it be out of the Ali fights. 
all of the Ollie fights. It's Liston, Patterson. Fraser. Fraser. And Foreman, Foreman, Foreman. Yeah. Foreman fight, yeah. Foreman. Now, we got a new generation of heavyweights. We had Larry Holmes after Ollie, and then uh, obviously uh, then we had uh, Mike Spinks, Tyson, and then uh, Holyfield, Bo, Lennox Lewis, and now we're moving up to people like the Klitschkos. Um, on a personal basis, uh, it might not be a very popular view, view, but I think the Klitschkos do well for what they've got. They're doing the best they can for what yeah. they got. Because you had a guy called Imbravmov, uh, another Russian fighter. Imbravmov, Sultan... Ibram Ibrahimov, yeah. 